Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to send emails from a localhost web server using PHP code and the send mail application. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to configure the PHP server to actually accept the send mail application. So that way the PHP script can use the mail function to handle all of our email needs. So we need to open the php.ini configuration file that's located inside the PHP installation directory. Now, if you're using XAMPP, like most people probably are, it'll be located in XAMPP slash PHP uh, if you're on Windows. Now, one of the reasons that uh, I really like the SendMail uh, application is because it's cross-platform. So I'm doing this on Windows, but the same process will work on Linux if you have uh, XAMPP installed the same way that the Windows installer installs it. Um, and if you check the link in the description for the article on the web on my website, uh, it'll have all the information you need to configure this for Linux. So in the php.ini configuration file, you need to find the sendmail underscore path configuration setting. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you get rid of the semicolon at the beginning of the line. So that will remove that uh, setting out of being commented. So if you're using XAMPP, like most people are, it'll be inside your XAMPP sendmail folder and then sendmail.exe. You'll also notice that there is a TACT option uh, on the application itself. So this TACT option uh, allows the PHP mail function to handle all of the recipients that you're gonna be sending emails to. So we can actually use our PHP code to determine who we're actually gonna be sending emails to. So after you've updated that configuration, go ahead and save the php.ini file, and then you're going to need to restart your Apache server. So that way it reloads the PHP config. So the next thing we need to do is we need to configure the sendmail application to actually transfer all of our mail traffic to an SMTP server. So you want to browse to the sendmail directory and then open up the sendmail. Now for the SMTP server, you've really got two options. You can either use your personal email service provider, such as Gmail, uh, Yahoo Mail, or any of those to handle your SMTP traffic for your uh, PHP code and your localhost server. Or if you already have your own website, um, you can use your own website and webhost SMTP server in order to handle the mail traffic from your localhost computer. Now for me, I've been using Bluehost for years for my uh, web hosting needs. And if you're looking to switch, then I highly recommend Bluehost. Uh, there'll be a link in the description that if you signed up under the affiliate. Now, once you've decided on which SMTP server to use, uh, you wanna get the connection information from that provider and you wanna load it up right here for each of these settings. So you need to uh, update the SMTP server SMTP port, SMTP SSL, and then your auth username, auth password configurations. Um, your username and password would just be your actual email address and then the password for that email account. Uh, the other important thing is this error log. Anytime we go to actually send any emails using our PHP script, if there's any errors that are generated from the mail function, they'll be logged into this file. And this file will actually be located inside of the send mail uh, directory. So it'll be slightly different than what you're used to for normal PHP error log. So now we can actually get into our PHP script itself to handle sending our emails. So it's a very basic script using the PHP mail function. So we've got our four variables for our headers, our two, our subject, and our actual message itself. Uh, and all of those parameters are just thrown right into the mail function. Uh, and then it'll give us a message, either success or unsuccessful, if the uh, mail function does not uh, work properly for some reason. So if we go ahead and load up the sender.php script, wait for it to load, you'll see that we got the success message, which means everything worked great. So if I go over to my webmail, and you can see that I have a new email from uh, Nick Frosty, and that's me. Hey from demo at nickfrosty.me, and it was sent to hello at nickfrosty.me. Uh, and we've got our multi-lined email subject right there. The source code and show notes will be available at the link in the description 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe. See you next time.